Well, welcome back to Clean Chic Outdoors. Believe it or not, I did an intro to this video about five hours ago as I went on the water, but I caught nothing. Zero, zilch. So I'm doing a reintroduction of our day. I say hour because Cindy's here. Smile, wave, something. She waved. Anyways, here's a couple clips on the water. It was super rough, bounced around like a madman surged high and low for about four hours. I think I caught two fish, maybe three little tiny ones. So not much to show from that. That was about it there. Anyways, we are going to tour the park a little bit. We're gonna go to the GNS Marina store and get some ice and show you inside there. And then we're gonna hit the beach, right? Yeah. So this video this video might not have any fishing in it at all. So if you want to see just fishing, you might want to move to the next video. But if you are interested in what Rowan's Ravine Provincial Park has to offer and some of it, including the beach and what else we do today, keep watching because this is our little, little adventure day. Should we go? We're going. Well, the store you see me walk by every morning when I go to my boat that I usually hear before it's open. So we're gonna go in and get some ice and have a quick peek around. You can see a bunch of different fishing stuff, more than you'll need out here. Those will work out here. Of course, well, everything else will too. But uh, yeah, lots, lots. And then, it's nice and cool in here. Cindy, would you like to buy some toys? A slushy? I'd do a slushy, yeah. You do a slushy. Here too, this is always good for camping stuff if you ever forget anything like that. Even tampons. So my friend bought me a box of tampons. This is the bomb. <laughs> Advil, right there. That's the stuff Cindy uses when she burns because she does burn sometimes right there. I've put many layers on her back with that stuff. Yeah, look at that, they even have, look at this. Cindy, they even have cat food and stuff and treats. Could have brought Tigger. Tigger, let him go. Bunch of different grocery items. It's always needed. A little Frank's Red Hot for the fish. Okay, that was our GNS Marina store. We got the ice. We can ice some drinks. I'm kind of excited for this whole beach day thing. We're still trying to make it to the beach. First, we're having some hot dogs. We're trying to go quick, so we're not doing them on the fire. We're doing them on a little Coleman grill. Take this thing camping all the time. Pretty handy, Looks up to a little propane tank. I hardly use it, but when I do, it's much needed. Here's a hot dog tip for you. Hot dogs go amazing with a cheese bun. If you've never tried it, you must try it. That's my Clayton Schick hot dog tip of the day. There's a good one, right? Hot dog tip of the day. And a Pepsi. Oh, and a Pepsi, Cindy says. Life's good. Still getting to that beach soon, I promise. Finally, beach bound. See, here, this is why you guys get yourself a girlfriend. They carry everything. Look at her. That's why you got a girlfriend right there. They carry everything. I've got the most important part. I got the Yeti, but I'll actually, I'll grab one of the bags from her right here now the too. The most important here. part is. Is me? No, the most important part is we are the ones that pack everything and are organized. You just show up. Where have you been the last week and a half? I've been pretty organized. Life was a lot easier before you got here. You know, I just went fishing. Now, can you believe I'm going to the lake without a rod? Like, whew, not good, not good. We're gonna go right, right, right here where there's a good fishing spot too. That's all I'm gonna be thinking about is how I could be fishing there right now. Okay, next stop, the beach. I'm gonna take this beach bod to the beach. Well, we finally made it to the, the beach, beach. Cindy, there's really good fishing off that point there. Yeah, good fishing. <laughs> yeah. 
oh, hot sand. I took off my sandals and it's hot, so I'm gonna put my feet in the water. Ooh, it's cold. It's cold. What is that thing? Oh, look at you. You have like beach stuff and everything. She has like a beach thing she's putting down. That's not a fishing rod. Yeah, so anyways, you can see the provincial park here at Rowan's has a beautiful beach. At some point, we'll go to a walk to the other side. As you can see, it's calm here. There's a really heavy south wind. And the way this point works, either side of the beach, or one should say that, either side, one of the sides of the beach will be calm pretty much no matter what, the way that it works out. So obviously right now I'm guessing everybody's on this side because this is the calm side. And I'm kind of excited to go cool off in the water here because I'm hot. And uh, yeah, first I gotta take my mic off because mics don't like water. And yeah, Cindy and I are gonna enjoy the rest of our, well, couple hours here at the beach. And we'll see what kind of other adventure we can get to later. Hot sand, isn't it? It's hot, is that better? Yeah, Cindy's, I know, this is nice though. Like this is nice. Once you stand for a bit, water temps are perfect. Cindy, I should be fishing out there. You know any good fishing spots I see from here? Where did I catch my fish? Oh, we can't tell them. Well, as you can tell, not at the beach anymore. We had our beach day, right? It was too hot to be She's, at the beach. Is it too hot? Is it possible it would be too hot to be at the beach? I guess she says it is. She was the one that wanted to go though, not me. So brownie points for me, which means you wanna go fishing tomorrow? She can't say no. So, we're gonna go fishing tomorrow, but first we are headed to check out the mini golf. We heard there's mini golf, so we're gonna go find it. Loser cook supper? No? Right, and also, still be in this video, we are having homemade french fries and homemade chicken strips. I'm cooking, so what are we betting? Uh, Cindy, bumper boats? I wouldn't sink that, would I? What are you laughing at? Is that made for adults or kids? We're here, Rowan's Ravine Mini Golf. How many K? 2.6 kilometers we walked. We walked, we walked 2.6 K apparently. Oh no, that's good I think. I didn't see that hole. I want to redo. No redos. Okay, maybe I'll do a few updates as we go. Sandy said she didn't see that, and it's a trap. It's a trap. She got trapped. But really, okay, here we go. My turn. Well, look at this. Clayton said if you get the right speed, boom! Hole in one. Yours is orange. Okay, Cindy, I showed you how it's done. I'll put it on camera. Oh, too hard. Here comes the putter throw. Uh oh, here comes the putter throw. Oh no, that's perfect. Oh. How do you feel right now? I was doing really good until that stupid hole right there. I took a nine. I had nothing but twos and ones and then a nine. I'll insert the scorecard later, but that hole robbed me. Things were looking good. Look at that. Clay, three, two, 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 one, two, three, nine, five. The wheels have officially fallen off. I believe I'm down by two strokes. Oh boy. You guys should have been here for this. Like it was epic, epic. Look at this, Clayton's look at this, competitive. look at this. Clayton blows it by getting a nine and then Cindy goes so, and then I got a seven, yeah, like yeah. a seven, I got a seven. Cindy stayed so consistent, which is so good. But look at this, the last few holes, Clayton picked up his game again. Two, two, three, two, two. Oh, I'm so, I'm the golf course champion of the world. I still have to put her leeches on though. It's all good though. 
if she can catch another big fish, I'll put her leeches on any day. Well, that was a fun little experience. Golf course, mini golf course, definitely uh, was a nice little treat to the day. It needs a little bit of work, but it's uh, overall, it's pretty nice. Hot tip, they run pretty straight and fast. You hardly have to hit the ball at times, right? Any other tips? Let's have fries. Fries. It's anyone's French fries now. Homemade fries. Homemade fries. That's where we're going next. Back to the campsite to make a fire. And we're gonna do a video with it. I'm gonna make my special homemade fries and homemade chicken strips. So let's go back to the campsite. French fries, homemade chicken fingers. Right here, canola oil in the pan. Right there, heating up. Cindy's over, I'm coming. Cindy's over here cutting the perfectly cut French fries. This is your job. It's part of the key to some good fries is evenly cut French fries. I'm horrible at cutting French fries. Cindy is good. Right there, step one. So if you wanna know when your oil is ready or very close to ready, we throw a potato in there and it's starting to bubble. So Cindy's finishing up with the rest of them. We're gonna get them all in here right away. Got lots of oil in there for now, but uh, we just had a neighbor that had some food problems today, so we're gonna supply them with a bunch of French fries later yet. Okay, well the fry, the camera doesn't wanna focus, but we're putting the fries in. Ooh, don't burn your hand. Rest of the fries. As the fries are crisping, so we're making homemade chicken breasts here. They have chicken breast fillets. So what they are is just like basically already chicken strips. So now I'm gonna take all of these, I'm gonna put them into a Ziploc bag. Chicken's in the bag. A little bit of mustard right here. That's what you need to put in there. The mustard will let the, the flour stick to the chicken. It's not gonna have much of a mustard taste. A little bit of mustard there. I'm gonna take some lemon, squeeze that in there. Do, we'll do both halves in there. Remember while all this is going on, don't forget about your fries and stir your fries once in a while too. And then a little lemon pepper. Oh, open the other end here. We need the, that ends. That ends for, I don't even know why they make that end. A little lemon pepper. Okay, Cindy's gonna close that bag and shake that all up there. And I'm going to go back to the fries here and give them a little bit of a stir. I'm gonna crisp these puppies up. Nice. What you can do right now is the oil's pretty hot and they're starting to crisp. Pull your pan off for a bit. And just let that oil cool a bit. And that will make your fries end up tasting a bit better. So we're gonna let that cool a bit and then put it back on and kind of like reheat it all again. So the next part here, we got this all mixed up. When the fries are almost finished, I'm gonna take the flour and I'm gonna dump it in here with the chicken. Don't put it in too early. You wanna put it, you wanna wait till you're just ready, almost ready to cook them. And then you wanna use quite a bit of flour because if you don't have enough flour, these won't coat properly. This will turn into a sticky mess. Fries, we let that oil cool down just a little bit. We'll put that back up on here to kind of finish them off. Those are gonna be tasty. After the french fries are done, this is what we're gonna sprinkle on right here. Roasted garlic and peppers. This is the, this is the juice right here. This is the goods. Fries are almost done. We are using this normal russets, normal russets baking potatoes right there. They work pretty good. White potatoes can work pretty good as well. They just won't turn as brown. So you kind of have to watch because they'll be at crispy and you won't even notice that they'll still be kind of white. The russets, the baking potatoes, they'll actually start to crisp and turn, turn colors. You can see it start to turn brown. Okay, those fries are almost done, so I'm gonna put my flour in with the chicken. Flour is in the chicken, french fries are gonna come off here, and then Cindy will season them. Oh, those look good. I've got a little tin foil tray here. Cindy, can you just come grab this little, that's not the seasoning we're using, I just need to put, yeah, okay, right there. Perfect, perfect. And then once I get these off, you season them up and maybe even test them out if you want. Okay, now while that oil is still hot, I'm gonna get that chicken in there right away. So now we're gonna take this chicken, we're gonna put it in the oil. Chicken is coming along nicely here. Okay, 
to check on the chicken. And we are good to go. We got lots, but I heard there's some hungry kids next door. So they're gonna have some chicken fingers and we're gonna make them some French fresh fries. French fries. There you go, chicken strips. Frank's Red Hot works as well for a batter instead of the mustard really well. But the, the mustard just allows the flour to stick really well. And they are chicken breasts, so they're somewhat healthy. Joking, it's fried food, I know it's not healthy. Supper for a king. Homemade chicken strips, homemade french fries, a salad, and a Pepsi. Well, that's gonna wrap up our day. I know, like I said, no fishing in this video, maybe a little bit boring for some people, but I give you a warning to move on if you didn't wanna watch, but you saw a little bit so far of what Rowan's had to offer. We never even showed you the other side of the beach. It'll be in the next video. I still have two more days here yet. This was video three on this little journey. Cindy brought lights, look at hanging lights. Even made it on my boat a little bit. The chicken we had was unreal. Like probably some of the best homemade chicken I've had. French fries, Cindy's, Cindy's still, how are those fries? Yes, so I'm going to put the camera away, spend the rest of the evening with my girlfriend here at the campsite, enjoying ourselves. Like I said, though, we did hear a rumor here that some kids are coming over for some, some French fries at some point. So we're probably making more, but that won't be on the video. Thank you as always for watching and don't forget, get outside. Thank you.